Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. <laughs> uh, I have been encoding a lot of videos into the MP4 format, MPEG-4. Uh, a, a derivation of MPEG-4 is H.264. Um, that's the format supported by the PSP, by the iPhone or iPod, as well as a, a variety of platforms on the web. In fact, uh, the new version of the Flash Player will be supporting H.264 inherently. It really is the video format to beat. Uh, on my trip to Germany, I wanted to re-encode some videos that I had um, in H.264, some for the PSP, some for my iPhone, and just used some software. Uh, people were recommending Visual Hub for OS X. I downloaded it, loved it. Uh, it does batch encoding, really drag and drop. Uh, you can put just about any video format in there and, and pump out just about every popular video format uh, available and just let it go. Uh, I ended up doing... Wicket, what are you doing? Are you encoding videos again? I think he's encoding videos, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, uh, I ended up leaving it running for a couple of days straight, and it took quite a long time. I wish I had uh, this particular device with me, uh, not just before Germany, but in Germany, when I happened to use iMovie uh, to encode some videos that I ended up uploading to YouTube. Hopefully you watch those, especially Ponzi racing around the uh, GM's test track. It was a lot of fun. Uh, this is the Elgato Turbo.264. It's a USB stick you plug into your computer and essentially instead of the software doing all the work uh, in conjunction with the hardware in your system you can offload a lot of the processing to this uh, and with faster systems of course you're going to see you know less of an advantage of having one of these but on slower systems having one of these around is very very necessary and at ninety nine dollars a pop i'd say it's certainly worth the price uh, it took me a couple days to do about thirty to forty different videos. Had I had this, I can't help but think if a few more hours would have been shaved off and I would have been able to use the computer for something else or just shut it down entirely. Uh, this, uh, the Elgato unit, is only available for OS X. Comes with software that now allows you to uh, change different profiles uh, for encoding in H.264. It also works with other programs like iMovie or QuickTime Pro, uh, Final Cut Pro as well. Uh, so again, I could have used it in Germany. Uh, I probably would have used its program, which of course is compatible with the hardware, makes sense, uh, to encode those videos. It would have taken a larger, uh, well, it would have taken probably a shorter amount of time, of course, hindsight 2020, but I can tell you having extra hardware that helps you, ex or that accelerates processes usually never hurts uh, in, in, in terms of cursory reviews uh, that I was reading about on the web, everyone was pretty much saying the same thing. The slower the system, the better off you are with one of these things. My friend Jake Lettington from Media Blab ended up buying something similar, uh, but I believe that only worked with uh, Windows and maybe even then certain programs that uh, were adapted to work with the hardware. But I'm going to see if he's done any reviews specifically and putting them on the web uh, and link to them in our show notes. Uh, so I just wanted to bring everybody's attention to these types of devices that can help accelerate video encoding. Seems that these days just about everybody is encoding video in one way or another, and the, the more time you can save, eh, the better off you are. Not just time, but uh, increasing. Imagine if you could increase the quality of the videos that you are encoding in the same amount of time. Uh, would that not be worth it to you? I, well, I say, you know, the higher quality video you can have, the better off you are. I ended up having to shrink the size of these videos just because I didn't have a lot of time to encode them. I probably should have saved more time. Uh, but had I had an accelerator around, uh, maybe I could have gotten a, a little better quality in terms of the output uh, that I was creating uh, through the software. What do you guys use for video encoding, either on Windows or Mac or, or even Linux? I'd be interested in, in finding out. And I'd also be interested in finding out if you also use the Elgato product. Uh, I'm definitely going to be running it through the ringer. Uh, it's something that I'm very glad to have in my tool belt. Uh, and I'm also interested in finding out if you know of any other similar types of products that I might be uh, wanting to take a look at in terms of helping performance when it comes to encoding uh, videos in general. So leave your comments, remarks, follow-ups. Uh, I'd be interested in, in finding out what you have to say. And of course, you're also welcome to swing by our website day or night, uh, no matter if you watch our videos on YouTube or 
Well, if you've never watched our videos before, you're welcome to stop by and participate. The chat room is lively 24 hours a day, and usually I am too, except for last night. People watched me sleep because I had a headache and ended up leaving the video camera. Anyway, you never know what's going to happen at the website, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.